Yes, I can go to the moon. Can I, Daddy? Of course you can. But for that, we need a special vehicle called spaceship. What is it that, Daddy? Great question. Similar to a car or a bus that goes on the road, a boat or a ship that goes on the water, a submarine that moves underwater, a spaceship can fly in the air. Is a helicopter can fly? Yes, a helicopter can fly too. But a spaceship can fly away from us and much farther than a helicopter or an aeroplane can. Since the moon is very very far from us, we would definitely need a spaceship. Let's build a spaceship then. But before building a spaceship and flying to the moon in it, we need to know a few things. Let's come to them as we build. Remember the space themed blanket you are so fond of that you cannot sleep without it? Those are the very planets that go around the mighty sun and we happen to be in one of them. Brilliant! Yes, we are in planet Earth. Then you might also know that there are a total of 8 planets that make up our solar system with the sun at the center. Mercury, the closest to the sun. It happens to be the smallest too. Venus, the hottest. Earth, where we are. Mars, the red planet. Jupiter, the biggest. Saturn with the ring. Uranus, the coldest. And Neptune being the farthest from the sun. Similar to the planets that go around the sun, some of the planets also have bodies that go around them. Do you know what they are called? Yes, I like that. That's awesome! You know everything. The moon is Earth's only natural satellite, which is our destination. Let's unpack everything here and start building the spaceship. We'll organize the pieces first and take a closer look at them. As it is a good practice to have all the pieces in place before starting. Yes, we have everything we need now. First, we'll build the launch pad from where the spaceship will take off. Then we'll build the spaceship itself. Next, we'll bring the spaceship over to the launch pad with the help of a very special vehicle. Finally, the spaceship will take off from the launch pad with a countdown. Let's go! Yes, let's go! For the launch pad, we'll attach these two rectangular pieces to the semicircular base. We'll put the thrusters here for now. These are the motors that help the spaceship move fast and control the directions too. And our launch pad is ready. Now the spaceship. It has four parts. First we'll connect the base to the structure. Then we'll snap the two doors in place one after the other. We'll quickly check that they are working properly and our spaceship is ready too. Since it has a lot of distance to cover, we'll thoroughly look at it from all angles 
to see everything is perfect. Looks great. Now we need to carry our spaceship to the launch pad from where it will take off. For that we need another special vehicle called Crawler Transporter. Usually it's much bigger but this will do for now. We'll carry a few things in the spaceship which will help us find more about the moon. Can you spot the one with the red line? It will tell us how hot or how cold the moon's surface is and is called a thermometer. What's this so good, Daddy? It's a radar and it can capture signals from all directions. We are not done with this special vehicle as yet. We'll need this to drive through different parts of the moon once we reach. This time it will be used as a rover. Let's keep it here for now. Next we'll build the boarding station from where one can board the spaceship and is the last part before we prepare to take off. It is also called a spaceport or a cosmodrome. The height of the ladder can be adjusted as needed to climb right into the spaceship. And our spaceport is ready. The spaceship is all set to take off. But for today, we'll let the experts board the spaceship. They are called astronauts. Did you notice the special dress? It's a spacesuit. I'm a wearing a helmet. Very good. Just like a helmet protects us on the roads when we ride a bike, the spacesuits protect the astronauts in space. Finally, we'll give our astronauts a flag to carry and put it once they reach the moon as a mark of great achievement. Let's close the doors now. Are you ready for the countdown? Yes, of course, Daddy. All ready for the countdown. Awesome. Let's move back to a safe distance behind the fence then. Let's start the countdown. Yes, we did it! A very special moment for all of us. Let's go home now. I can't wait to share with mommy all the adventures we did today. Next time, we'll fly the spaceship ourselves too.